In recent years, both India and Indonesia have undertaken ambitious railway projects to modernize their transportation infrastructure, responding to the challenges of growing urbanization. These initiatives aim to enhance connectivity, reduce travel time, and improve passengers' amenities. In this comparative analysis, we'll delve into notable railways shedding light on their objectives, costs, and potential impact. Indian Railway Projects RLDA Redevelopment of Railway Station New Delhi With a construction cost of 4,925 crore, this project focuses on modernizing New Delhi railway station. The aim is to integrate it with city infrastructure and provide world-class facilities. Tractabel serves as the appointed architect and technical consultant. Pride Bengaluru Suburban Rail Project Bangalore. At a cost of 2,500 crore, Pride is implementing a 148-kilometer suburban rail network in Bengaluru, connecting key areas of the city through the Baya Panahali Chika Banavara Corridor. RLDA redevelopment of railway station Amenabad with a construction cost of 2,000 Crore. The proposed redevelopment of Ahmedabad Railway Station includes a new station building, transit hub, parking, offices, hotels and more aiming to enhance passenger amenities. RLDA redevelopment of CSMT Railway Station Mumbai Focused on the iconic Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Terminus in Mumbai, the 1800 crore project aims to decongest the terminus, integrate transport modes and restore the heritage structure. RVNL Railway Station Buildings and Quarters Yavatmal Rail Vikas Nigam Limited is is constructing a new broad gauge railway line in Maharashtra, including station buildings, staff quarters, and related infrastructure with a construction cost of 1,270 crore. CR redevelopment of railway station Thane. With a budget of 1,000 crore, Thane railway station's redevelopment includes platform upgrades, station modifications, and improved passenger amenities to reduce overcrowding. Pride Bengaluru Suburban Rail Project Bangalore. This comprehensive project with a construction cost of 1,000 crore covers four corridors. The K SR Bengaluru, Devanahalli and Kengeri aim to revitalize Bengaluru's transport infrastructure. CR redevelopment of Lokmanya Tilak Terminus Mumbai. The 950 crore project envisions upgrading Lokmanya Tilak Terminus in Mumbai with new terminals, platforms, commercial zones, parking and staff quarters. Pride Bengaluru Suburban Rail Project Bangalore. Targeting the Hilagi Rajankunti Corridor, this 860 crore project involves the construction of essential railway infrastructure and technological enhancement. NCR redevelopment of railway station Allahabad. The redevelopment plan for Allahabad railway station with a construction cost of 860 crore includes infrastructure development, platforms and related facilities to enhance the overall passenger experience. Indonesian railway projects. The Woosh Jakarta Bandung high speed railway. This groundbreaking project with a total cost of 7.3 billion dollars covers 142.8 kilometers achieving an operating speed of 350 kilometers per hour. It aims to reduce travel time between between Jakarta and Bandung from 3 hours to about 40 minutes. Medium speed train Jakarta to Surabaya. Estimated at $4.3 billion, this 715-kilometer railway project links Jakarta and Surabaya. The first phase connects Jakarta and Semarang, aiming to double the current train speed to 160 kilometers per hour. Trans Sumatra Railway. The proposed Trans Sumatra Railway, spanning over 2,000 kilometers, aims to connect Aceh in the north to Lampung in the south, linking major cities and ports of Sumatra. Now, it's time for a comparative analysis of Indian and Indonesian train projects, scale and speed. The Indian projects primarily focus on redeveloping and expanding existing railway infrastructure, while Indonesia has undertaken a groundbreaking high-speed railway connecting major cities with unparalleled speed and efficiency. Cost considerations. The Indonesian high-speed railway project has a significantly higher cost than most Indian projects, reflecting the scale, advanced technology, and speed of implementation. Technological innovation. Indonesia's high-speed railway introduces cutting-edge technology, achieving speeds comparable to China's high-speed network. In contrast, Indian projects emphasize modernization and enhanced amenities without the high-speed focus. Connectivity and impact. The Indian projects address urban congestion and connectivity within cities, aiming to enhance the passenger experience. In contrast, Indonesia's high-speed railway directly addresses intercity connectivity, reducing travel time and stimulating economic growth. Collaboration and funding. Indian projects involve collaborations between government bodies and private private consultants like Tractabel, while Indonesia's high-speed railway project includes collaboration with China and substantial funding through loans. Regional impact. While Indian projects have a localized impact within cities, Indonesia's high-speed railway has a broader regional impact by connecting Jakarta and Bandung, two major metro cities, and reducing travel time significantly. Future plans. India's projects demonstrate a commitment to improving existing infrastructure and addressing local needs, while Indonesia's plans include further expansion, such as the Jakarta 
Surabaya medium speed train and the Trans Sumatra Railway. Both India and Indonesia are making significant investments in railway projects, but the scale, speed, and technological innovation differ. India's focus on redevelopment and localized connectivity aligns with its urbanization challenges. While Indonesia's high speed railway sets a new standard for intercity travel, the success and impact of these projects will depend on effective implementation, addressing challenges, and meeting the evolving needs of their respective populations. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on similar content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know which country's approach impressed you the most. Until next time, stay tuned for more exciting comparisons and in-depth explorations.